the last thing we need to talk about is what a complex fraction is. A complex fraction is a fraction that contains a fraction in its numerator or denominator to simplify a complex fraction. Write its numerator and denominator as single fractions, then divide by multiplying by the reciprocal of the denominator. So all of that sounds super, super scary, but you already know how to do it. We've already added and subtracted rational expressions. We've already multiplied and divide rational expressions. We've simplified it. We've said when it's undefined. We have all of the tools to be able to solve this. So the first thing I'm going to do is make it a single fraction. So right where it says single fractions, that's step one. In order to do that, I'm going to have to add or subtract. Okay. So the denominator here is already a single fraction. See how it's x plus 1 over x? That's one fraction. In the numerator, though, I have 2 over x plus x over 4. So that's two fractions being added together. This is what I need to simplify. So I'm going to do that real quick. 2 over x plus x over 4. If I'm adding, remember, I need to find a least common denominator. My least common denominator here is going to be 4x. So I'm going to have to multiply the 2 over x by 4 over 4 and the x over 4 by x over x. See how that makes it so I can have the common denominator of 4x? So that gives me 4 times 2 is 8, plus x times x is x squared, all over 4x. So I'm just going to take this and plug it into the numerator, okay? We're replacing it. I now have 8 plus x squared over 4x all over x plus 1 over x. If you wanted to, I was just looking at it and it bugs me a little bit, um, we can write it as x squared plus 8 instead. In fact, I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, that feels better. So, now that I have a single fraction in the numerator and a single fraction in the denominator, we're going to divide, because overall, this is a division problem. So what we do when we divide is keep, change, flip. We're going to keep the numerator. So x squared plus 8 over 4x. We change from division to multiplication, and we flip the denominator. When we multiply, we go across the top and across the bottom. So really, I have this times x all over 4x times x plus 1. I just put my expressions in parentheses to remind me they belong together. And hopefully you notice that the x's do cancel. So I'm left with x squared plus 8 over 4 times x plus 1. You could check and see if this simplifies further, but it doesn't. So I'm just left with this as my final answer. Okay, so part B. Once again, the first thing we should do is simplify so that it's a single fraction in the numerator and in the denominator. When I look at part B, the numerator is already one fraction, but the denominator is adding two fractions together. So I need to add this before I can actually divide. The first thing I do uh, when adding is check and see if I can factor the numerator, or excuse me, the denominators, and I cannot in this case. So now I need to identify what the least common denominator is. 
and it would be the two differences multiplied together. I have an x times an x plus 2. That means that I'm going to have to multiply my 1 over x plus 2 times the missing x. So x over x times 1 over x plus 2 plus I have my 2x, my second term, and that's missing the x plus 2. So I need to do x plus 2 over x plus 2. x times 1 is x plus 2 times x plus 2. I'm going to have to distribute there, and that's all over the least common denominator. So this becomes x plus 2x plus 4, or um, I can combine my x and my 2x. So really, this is a 3x plus 4 over x times x plus 2. So this replaces this. Okay. I left lots of space here so we can work. Remember, the numerator was always one fraction, so I'm just going to rewrite it. Over the denominator, we just rewrote. So all in all, this is a division problem. And remember, when we divided rational expressions, we just did keep, change, flip. We kept the first term. We changed from division to multiplication, and we flipped the denominator, so the last term. Uh, that would be the reciprocal, so x times x plus 2 is in the numerator, and 3x plus 4 is in the denominator. If you want, put some parentheses around the 3x plus 4. That's an expression. It goes together. Um, we can't separate that. Let's see if anything cancels. Oops, I can put parentheses there too. Uh, the x plus 2's appear in the numerator and denominator, so I am just left with 2x over 3x plus 4. Scooch that down so you can see it. You cannot simplify any further. You can't cross off those x's. And the reason why is because we are adding that 4 to the 3x. Remember, this is an expression. It stays together. So that's my final answer. Part C. You know, I think I'm going to let you try Part C, so why don't you pause the video and try that. When you're ready, just hit play. Hopefully that went okay for you. Uh, the first step, remember, is to make the numerator and denominator both single fractions. The numerator was already a single fraction, so we just had to add the denominator. When I added, here's all my work right here, I had to identify the least common denominator as x minus 4x plus 1. I multiplied my first term by x plus 1 over x plus 1, and my second by x minus 4 over x minus 4. Now that they had a common denominator, 1 times x plus 1 gave me this, 3 times x minus 4 gave me this, combine like terms, got me here. So remember, this 4x minus 11 over x plus 1 times x minus 4 replaces that um, addition of two rational expressions. So that brought me here. I just rewrote it as my single fractions. Because this is overall a division problem, I did keep, change, flip, the x minus 4 is canceled, and I was left with 3 times x plus 1 all over 4x minus 11.